Hi, I'm Nathan Fagelin with TechU. It's been a while since I made a video and I really want to get into doing technical tutorials so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a website so this will be a blog homepage with Bootstrap 3. If I get enough interest future, t future tutorials will be actual article pages so when we can click when we click onto one of these it will go onto a page that will bring us to an article um, I'll show you a couple of bootstrap tips and tricks along the way and if I get enough interest I'll also look at creating an actual blog that's fully functioning with the Laravel PHP framework so let's get into it you can use any text editor to do this I'm using brackets which is um, open source and it's maintained by Adobe not sure if that that means it's good or bad so we're going to hop over to the getbootstrap.com which is the official bootstrap website and we need to include the bootstrap style sheet in our in the head of our HTML so first we need to declare the doc type so we write doc type HTML then we do an HTML tag, then head, we can set a title, a title is what's going to be displayed up the top so we can title my blog homepage and then we can include the bootstrap CSS file. We can just copy and paste it from here. And this is hosted on a CDN, which means that it should be quite fast to load and you don't need to worry about storing bootstrap on your own server. And now we've closed off our head, we need to open up the body of our document. And right before the end of the body, we need to put the bootstrap JavaScript and before that we also need jQuery so we go to jQuery.com and they have a hosted CDN version so we also don't need to worry about hosting that on our server so script src equals Um, the URL to jQuery and we close our script tag and we also need to include the viewport meta tag which basically helps with the which basically makes it responsive it's got to do with how it's responsive because what happens with Bootstrap, Bootstrap 3, it's by default responsive, which means if I view it on a desktop, it looks good and it does nice columns. But then if I bring it to a mobile phone size, it stacks it all because obviously if we had columns, it would look tiny. And it also can make your menu at the top collapsible, which is good for small screens. And then if we bring it to a tablet size, we can also you can also see how we've changed the number of columns that are visible. So we need to go in the head meta name equals viewport content equals width equals device hyphen width initial initial hyphen scale equal 1.0 and close the meta tag I think the meta tag should go before the CSS. However, I'm not sure if this makes much of a difference, but I'll do it anyway. 
So now we can get on to the fun part of actually creating our website. 